So hello everybody, how are you today? It is Power Week, that means that the Power BI team has released a new Power BI desktop update, this time April 2019. And in today's video, I'm going to show you my favorite feature of the entire update, which is drilled through to reports. I love, love, love the feature of drill through to pages. I'll show you in a second what it is what it is and I have a deep dive on another video but now it's possible to do it on reports which is amazing okay so we are going to jump into Power BI and we have the Northwind data set the one that we always use completely free down below a link to know what it is and how to use it and um, this is how it works. So the first page we have here a summary, a state of the business for the North Wind company. And uh, I have here a list of, of products and the sales um, this year, same period last year and year over year. And if we want to know a little bit more about, okay, how is it going for my queso? What is my queso cabrales? Queso Manchego is good too. So we want to know how it goes with Queso Manchego. Right click on there, drill through, drill through details, and it will take us to another page where that filter is moved to the page, which it was really good. The thing with this is that it was within the same report. You cannot pass filters through other reports, but you can do that. Now, this is how you do it. So if you go here, file, options and settings and options you have to turn on i don't know why you have to turn on all this stuff why can it just be on who cares anyhow you have to turn on uh, allow visuals in this report to use read through okay so the first thing that's the first thing you need to click but that's not the only thing or the only place you need to activate it you have to activate it also in here so i have now I want to divide these into two reports. So I have here my overview report. This is the state of the business. Everybody can see that. And then I have another report that is for products. So these drill through details, I have moved it to another report, a different one, where I have that visualization. Okay. So this is called summary and the other one is called product. So what I need to do is from the page, I want to send the filter. I have to turn on cross report and product. This is my product report. I have to turn on cross report, or at least that's how I understand it. So you turn on both and then you publish it to the web. Obviously that works only on the web. I get that. So you publish it to the web and this is the way it looks. So here we have our summary report. This is, you know, the global state of the business kind of thing. And now I want to know how it works for a specific product. So I right click, I go to drill through and do you see here product? That means that you can drill through to the product report. If we click on that here, suddenly you can create a products report so report specifically on products not just only read through but anything you want to do and then once the the person comes here you can start navigating everything in pro about product product and the thing i was missing is like okay but now that i'm here on products i actually want to go back to my summer report and you can navigate here but you know i think the navigation on parway.com is Mm -mm. So I've created a button. If you click on here, it will take you back to the summary report. And from here, you can again navigate to another product or whatever you want to do, which I think is absolutely great. How did I create the button? This is also a release from the Power BI update from the update this month. And I'll show you in a second. It's very, very quickly to do. You create a button. And then on the action, you need to copy the web URL of the report you want to go to. And in this case, it is, you have to copy this URL. So the URL of the uh, summary report that you have on powerbi.com. You copy that. 
and then you paste it in here and you're good to go okay you will every time somebody clicks on here it will take them to the first report probably you should have like a you know first page where you have all the reports and then you can go back and forth to that first page i guess that's the way to do it now based on this awesome functionality so go wild go wild this is going to be fantastic there are two more things for the analytics the first one is that the key let me show you so the key influencers i did a video a while ago about what i thought it was good and bad one of my critiques was actually that um i felt that this artificial intelligence algorithms are a bit secretful and you don't really know what you're doing i actually got a reply from justina which is the girl that is actually coding these visualizations and she said that she has explained everything there is to know about the algorithm in the docs so it is uh, open for everybody to know and there's no secrets about how this works or doesn't work so i take that comment back microsoft apparently is not is not going to have like a secret recipe recipe for their artificial intelligence algorithms which i think is fantastic so we will be able to understand how they work fully and you know then we don't need to try and trust them blindly i will post a link to this video down below and then you can read the justina's comment also when you go get to the video and the last one is that python is actually um generally available right uh, was it that python support is generally available in power bi desktop so it's not a preview feature anymore you don't have to tick that which is great news okay so what do you think about drill through reports what is your favorite feature um this is all for me for today i'll see you again on the next video until then take care bye